Yeah, Kelly and Bob, House Bill 68 was brought before a committee just a minute ago. Now, it was tabled after some discussion to clarify some language, but overall it is seen as an asset to renters. I've definitely experienced the hidden fees. During nearly a decade of renting in Salt Lake City, Alexander Muzios learned what you see isn't always what you get. It's just dishonest. It's not full transparency. It's a little misleading. Mandatory media packages are commonplace and can tack on $100 or more, along with an extra $100 for parking fees. One South Salt Lake property manager requires renters to pay communal electricity pest control and a service fee on top of $1,500 rent. It seemed like, how, how can landlords do this? Representative Marsha Judkin sponsors House Bill 68. That would require all fees included up front with the price of rent. It came after learning some single mothers needing affordable housing would pay an application fee only to learn later on an apartment was out of their budget. There are very good landlords out there. But there are predatory landlords who, you know, use this type of practice so that they can just get somebody in the door and get these application fees or deposits. Lawmakers debated the same bill last year after removing any punishment for property owners who failed to disclose the fees up front. Time ran out before the final vote could be taken. In a statement to Fox 13 News, the Utah Apartment Association wrote in part, quote, we don't oppose the bill. Changes were made to last year's version that would make it more clear. They also added that most housing providers already disclose all the costs up front. Do you want to know what you're actually going to be spending? It's just obvious. Now, this bill will be back in committee later this session. Reporting live at the Hill, Haley Higgins, Fox 13 News, Utah.